Welcome to Learn to DIY. Today we're going to be checking out some TikTok videos that show DIY hacks. We'll test them out and see if they're any good. Okay, our first video today is by Espo Chippy. This one has 1.9 million views. Let's take a look at what's on here. But it looks like he's basically taking a Makita battery on a charger, says don't plug it in, and slide it into the slot, just put it in over and over again. And I can't tell what's going on here. So I had to do a little digging. In the comments it shows that if you take the battery out and put it back in again, and you do it quickly before the light goes out, then you can change the tune. I didn't even know there was a tune on these chargers. Let's try it out. Okay, so I've got my Makita charger here. This is the DC-18RC, but I've got a couple of batteries. And it's saying, let's go ahead and put this in. Yeah, there we go, there's our jingle. But I think what it said is if we take this out, I got a beep beep there. I got a long beep. Hey, there we go. All kinds of jingles. <laughs> and back to the beeps. Six different jingles there, so pretty cool. From what I've heard, you can use this to identify different batteries. Let's say you've got that one assigned. In fact, let's try it. If I do a, all right, so I've got the fur release going on for that one. And then on this other battery, okay, that one does a double beep. So if I change this, So to the baseball theme here, then supposedly when it's charged, it'll play. Da -da 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 -da. Let's try it with this one. This should be for release on this one. Oh, it's back to the beep. Okay. So maybe that just means that you have to do it every time. If I'm wrong on that, let me know. That's what it appears to be. All right. We'll let that run for a little bit. This battery is already full, so it should give us the completion of the tune in just a second here. We'll see. Okay, there's the whole song. Let's see how long this goes. Okay, that's it. So, we got a nice little jingle there that lets you know when this is all done. You can see the green lights on and it's solid. That means that the battery's full. So it's just a little way to play something else instead of just a couple of beeps to let you know that your battery's actively charging and then when it's totally full. Kind of cool. I'm gonna rate each of these with three things. For the cool factor on this particular little hack, I'm gonna give that a four. I think that's a pretty cool little feature. It's easy to do. As far as the should factor, should you do this or is this too dangerous to do? I give it a five. This thing is as simple and as easy to do as you can do. There's no risk at all. And then as far as the function factor, like is this something that's actually worth doing? I'll give it a three, you know? It's not all that helpful necessarily, but why not? It's pretty cool. So well done on the little Makita hack from Espo Chippy. The second video is by Idea Times. This one has 2 million views and let's take a look. Alright, so we've got what looks to be a PVC elbow maybe on a little soda bottle or water bottle and he just threads it right on. He's got a hole in the back so this is to collect all of the dust as you're drilling. Pretty cool. I think that's clever. How in the world does that thread onto the top of the bottle? Oh, if you look right there, it looks like there's actually, um, it's custom made, like it's flanged on there. So let's grab some PVC elbows and a bottle and see if we can make it. All right, I've got my soda bottle here. I've got a three quarter inch PVC elbow and a one inch PVC elbow. And let's see how this goes. So uh, that is just too small. So I could maybe bend this one out a little bit to get it to fit. And then our one inch, it's pretty sloppy on there. So we got more room on here. So I could either Maybe take this thing off and glue it on to the inside with some hot glue or something like that or some epoxy or I could try to bend this one out and have it just barely slide in there. That sounds like more fun so I'm going to try that one but first somebody's got to drink this stuff so that we can catch some dust in it. Mm. Poor me. True story about soda when I was first married 22 years ago I was drinking soda and apparently every time I would drink and take a swig I would burp afterwards and my wife finally one day had to ask me could you please not burp every single time you take a drink? But out here in the shop, I can get away with that because there's no one out here, so I burp till my heart's content. 
and I'm happily married for 22 years, so it's a win-win. Good stuff. A quick thank you to our awesome channel members right here who help support this channel. You can learn more about that by clicking the join button down below. So if you haven't done this before, you can use a heat gun or even a flame or something like that if you need to, but a heat gun works really well on PVC. We're gonna heat this up. It'll make it a little bit moldable, a little bit pliable, and then we'll see if we can pop it right around here. And hopefully that won't like melt this thing, but we'll give it a try. See if we can do that and then we can thread it right onto our bottle. Let's see how it goes. Whoop, whoop. Okay, let's put this thing on here. See if it'll, look at that. As Ace Ventura says, mm, like a glove. Check that out, perfect fit. So because this is ridged around here, I'm just gonna let this cool just as it is. I might throw a little super glue in through this top side here just to make sure that stays in. That flange there looks exactly like what I saw in the video, so I think this is what he did. Just not much, just a little bit enough to fit around the lid. I was just telling a story about you. <laughs> about how when we were first married I had to burp after every every swig of soda. And then I realized we were first married. How how long did you wait? <laughs> that was quite a while. Was it like years and years into our marriage? It was like thirteen. Thirteen years? You're a patient woman. Yep. I'm gonna open this hole up a little bit. I'm just gonna use my fast back here. These are the best. I use these for everything. And I'm just gonna see if I can carefully carve this out. Nice big opening there. And now for the test, let's make sure it still fits. There we go. Okay, other than finishing off the soda, this thing's ready to try. That burns. All right, let's test this thing out. Just put this through here, put it on our fake wall here, hold it up against it. Look at that. I don't know if you saw, but all those wood shavings ended up right in there, and there's like, whoa, oh, that's what I was worried about. So a bunch does fall out uh, when you take it out like that. So we do want to make sure to ah, tap it back in there. All right, let's try this again. Okay. There's the shavings, and then I'm thinking if we kind of plug this and tilt it back, there we go, then they all go in. Pretty good. There's basically no mess at all right there, so it does a really good job. And that's actually a pretty clever little tool. I like it, I think that one's a win. So for coolness factor on this one, I'd say this one's probably a five. It's just like a really smart, simple little thing. As far as the should factor, I'd go five. You should do this. This is pretty safe to build. It's not too sketchy in my opinion, and definitely uh, worth doing. And that brings us to the function factor, a five there. I mean, this is just, this actually works as advertised and can save you a lot of cleanup and you can use this all over the house for any messes you've got when you're drilling holes in the wall, so pretty cool. Our next TikTok DIY hack has 5.7 million views, and this guy kind of got crucified over his pronunciation of the word oscillating, so let's take a look. Razor blade in your oscillating saw, and it cuts through this stuff. Oscillating, all right, we all make mistakes. It's like butter. This stuff's really hard to actually cut with a regular razor blade, but this does awesome. <laughs> Razor blade in your okay. okay, we have a multi-tool and we have some Husky hook utility blades. Maybe he did it like this, so it's kind of locked in that way. Let's see. I'm just worried that that'll come out. And that is a that is a dangerous looking thing. Holy cow. All right, looks like it'll hold. Let's give it a go. This stuff is really thick and not gonna be easy to cut. Oh my gosh, I'm putting my safety goggles on. One sec. All right, safety goggles are on. Let's try this again. Please don't come off. So it's locking up. It uh, stops um, oscillating. It stops going back and forth and it's not working because of that. So let me pop the battery out. See if I can reposition this. Woo. Oh, I don't know, maybe that works. Okay, let's try it. That's like a death machine right there. Okay, here we go. Ah! Okay. 
Nope, that didn't work. Let's try something else. I'm gonna watch the video one more time and see what he was doing. Oh, and he's got a different, that's the other thing. He's got a different uh, manufacturer. He's got a Milwaukee. I've got a Milwaukee. Ha ha ha, check it out. Okay. Woo, okay. We have a broken blade. So I found this stuff that's 100% vinyl. And again, I wanna try this out. Let's first try it with the oscillating tool off. Oh man, look at this. It just cuts like butter. So definitely not a difficult cut with it off. Let's try it with it on, see if it makes any difference. I mean, that may have made it a little easier, but honestly, uh, see it is tough to tear, so that's, that's saying something. But look, now I can take this, even with the tool off, and just cut through it really easy like that. You can actually just throw this in a regular box cutter or utility blade holder like this, and it's gonna work out just great. It's gonna stay in there good, and then you got really good grip on it that way too. So I would just go with that. It's a lot easier, and I don't think there's really much, if any, advantage of using the oscillating tool. On this one, I'd say for the cool factor, I give it probably a four. Like this would be cool if it worked, uh, but for the should factor or the sketchy factor, I think this thing is probably more like a one because I do not recommend doing this. As for the function factor, again, I'd give this probably a one because it's really not much, if any better, than just using a blade inside of a blade holder like this. So I'd say this one's not something I'd recommend. If you're a DIYer who likes to wear it loud and proud like I do, you can check out our DIY gear in the shelf below, or you can use the link in the description to take a look at our store. Our fourth and final TikTok DIY hack today has a whopping 47 million views. Let's check this one out. All right, we've got a string trimmer, a weed whacker, out of string, and he's using zip ties, it looks like. Two of them to replace the string. Maybe if you're out of string or something like that, I guess and it's working. So it makes sense. That's kind of the same general kind of plasticky stuff that the uh, string is made out of most likely. All right, we can give this one a try. Let's see if it works. All right, it looks like in here he just took these. Oh man, these aren't even long enough. So I've got 14 inch zip ties here and those aren't even close to long enough. So we need something really big. So let me see if I can get some larger ones here. Now I'm back with 24 inch zip ties. These are massive and they're really thick. These are a lot more expensive too. So let's see how this works. There's enough room to put two of them on here. I don't know about that. Okay, that's on there. All right, that there. One and two. All right, that is one gnarly looking String trimmer. Let's see if it works. Oh. Okay. That just blew apart right away. <laughs> There's nothing left already. Okay, that did not work at all. Um, we can try it with some skinnier ones, but they'd have to be like 24 inch ones and they only make them in fat guys. So I'm gonna say that one's a fail. All right, so on that one, I'm gonna say that that one was definitely a fail, like I mentioned. As far as the coolness factor, that's maybe a three. It was all right, you know, I think it's a good idea, but why wouldn't you just use string, which leads us to the should factor. Should you do this? Uh, one, no, you shouldn't. There's really no reason you wouldn't just get some more string or carry a little bit extra string rather than a pack of zip ties. You could do this a little better if it actually used the skinnier zip ties, I think. Even if you had to chain a couple of these together, that could work. So for the function factor, maybe it's a two. On mine, it was like a zero. That thing blew up immediately. I don't think I even cut any grass with it. So definitely not one I would recommend. I will say our winner for today is definitely this little guy. This thing was pretty impressive. It cost about a buck to make and was pretty easy to do. And this is something that you can use forever, really. You don't have to replace this or do more of them. So that's a pretty clever idea from TikTok. Speaking of which, if you have more ideas from TikTok, we'd love to see those. We've set up a page at learntodiy.com slash TikTok ideas, where you can submit your ideas and we'll give you credit for those if we use them in the videos. Also, you can share those with Learn to DIY right from the TikTok app. That's it for this round. I'm Nils with Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching.